Hey there folks, it's David with the UFO Dave page on Facebook. I was completely alone, there's a vehicle coming down the road here, but I'm a couple of vehicles. Anyhow, I'm heading over to the cave. Got the boat, got my booties on, I'm going around that bend there. You can see the the difficulty in getting to it from around the top, around the side, it's uh, quite steep and uh, quite treacherous, especially when there's frost on the rocks. It's like seven degrees right now. So I'm going to go out and see what I can see, and uh, we'll take you along with me. Hopefully my batteries don't die. They seem to be dying. I think the frequent use of uh, this camera and the batteries uh, has drained their, their life. So let's see what we can get. Oh, one thing. This is what I'm going to be doing today. Hold on a second. Got a little camera, like a GoPro, that I put on this monopod that extends and I'm gonna put that up into the cave because we're still looking at oh I don't know how many where's the water line there the cave is right at the water line so we're looking at 10 feet of distance and I haven't been able to get up the side of the uh, rock face to get in there so we're gonna see what we can see the first time I went into uh, the cave area and looked at it, there were what looked like pancake type of rocks in the cave mouth. And this year when I went back to it, there was a stick and the rocks were gone. So let's see what we can find now. This shows that there's been activity in that cave and there's, I don't know, any, any animal that can get into the cave uh, from 10 or 15 feet below down in the water level off this sheer rock face other than this creature and you can see the claw marks going up into the cave from it from the water anyhow got my camera on a pole and we're off got my boat now down to the water and uh, looks pretty calm so off we go Showing these areas here. This is where the public beach is over this way. And all along here, I've shown before all the scratch marks. Look at them all. All the claw marks along here. I'm just gonna go till I bump into something, but you can see all the scratch marks and the broken rocks. Like freshly broken. All these pointed triangular shapes. All these big rocks, these have all been brought down, taken off. Other, like you can see, freshly exposed rock there. Claw marks on this rock right here that I'm going past. See how it's all smoothed out? Like I showed you in my last video, this area where it's all smoothed out. It's been smoothed out over maybe hundreds of years if these creatures using them like look it's you can see little divots indentations where these creatures have made a home and again look at right in the middle of there big claw mark right across the rock it's taken well, okay look uh, anyhow fresh freshly removed rock it just tumbles down into the water But this whole area I've gone over before and showed you, 
all the claw marks. You can see as we go by the fresh rock that's been exposed all along here. Fresh rock right there, that whole chunk gouged out all along here. Triangular shapes where its claw has come in, taken a huge chunk like up on the wall there. Look at that. Like those chunks taken out. Sort of a jagged mark. Starting with a point right at the very tip, right there. And then just dragging right through and taking all that rock out with it. Look, you can see coming up on these rocks here, there, there, all along here. This area, that right there was, again, taken out. That as well. That as well. This whole flat, this whole face is flat. You can see it's used the flat face to go up the side of this hill. You can see the pathway it's taken to go right up the side. And look right in the side of the rock. Big claw marks, like three claw marks there. Right next to the big gouge and another chunk of rock taken out there. Exposing fresh rock. And all of these rocks here, little, little rocks, but, oh, I have two marks, uh, an eagle or two just flew right past me. Um, anyway, back to where we were here, this flapping of wings. Look at that right there, chunks taken out of the rock and claw marks scratching right down the rock face. Fresh ones too, like these two right here. Fresh gouges. Taking chunks out of the rock. I'm kind of floating towards this uh, little rocky area, but you can see going up the side as well. Going up the side, there's big chunks taken out of, it must just claw its way so you can see up on here too chunks taken out up the side of the hill. It's quite steep. That's what I'm saying. We saw it from the other side. But it goes up quite steep there and it just claws its way up there. It must have a an area up there where it can just just chill. Survey. Like, you know, eagles do that too. Speaking of eagles. They just sit up on perches and just watch. You can see here scratch marks on the side of these rocks. And all along these rock faces here, like that one there. I'm gonna bang into a rock here for a second. Um, all scratched, fresh scratch marks on them. All these are just, they have chew marks and scratch marks and everything on them. You can see this one right here. It's just been taken out of the rock. And just up this rock here, all this has been taken out, this whole chunk of rock. And just, they just fall down. You can see up to the side. It's clawed its way up, taking chunk, chunk after chunk out. And they just fall down. The pieces of rock just fall into the water. I got, there we go. Where is it? There it is. Eagles flying around me. So peaceful here. Anyhow, back to the task at hand. I'm going to pause this and make my way down around the corner. Before I go, I just wanted to show this to you. A couple of scratch marks. Right there. Just taking the rock out with its claws. And there, a scoop. And there, you can see the claw imprint in the rock. It just comes up right out of the water. Like I was saying, the water level's higher. You can see the rocks under here with the claw marks in them as well and sort of a ramp coming up here and up there as well. All these flat spots, they don't happen by accident. This happens years and years of chewing on rocks. And, wow, an entire section of rock there. That entire section was taken out. It starts at a point. 
Anyhow, it makes these ramps so it can just come right up and sit up in these little hollows, go up the hill and sit somewhere else. And who knows how many of these there are. It could be everywhere, but there could be just one that has this entire area. Um, but anyway, onward. Uh, but that is a cave used by it. Look, you can see the pathway it takes and everything smoothed down. Green grass. Another cave right there. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get a close up on this. I'm gonna bump into the rocks here, but you can see the slice marks on the rock. And there's telltale signs, scratch marks, white marks. The rocks have been scratched and chewed. been smoothed down. Okay, you can see these slice marks in the rock. And the cave wall has been totally smoothed down and scratched. Look at the small pieces of rock. The sticks. It likes to gather sticks like a dog. And then, like you can see coming up out of the water, there's a spot to come right up out of the water in there. And then go right up the side. Look, you can see a pathway right up the side. It goes right up to who knows where. But there's a, whoa, look at that, look at that. A big chunk taken right out of the rock there. And it just, has sat up there in this little plateau area and it can just come down into the water and then back up. And there's an area over here where it can come out of the water and go up the side. Scratch marks all up on the side there. scratched its way up the side and here too look at that on the side of that big old claw mark going right up the side out of the water coming right out of the water and then look all the way up to the top and smooth down right up to the top there so it goes up and down Fresh chunks of it out of that rock up there. And a triangular chunk taken out there. And a triangular chunk there. All the way up this rock face as well. You can see here, right starting from the water. Well, the water line as it is now. Like I said, it's a little higher than it was like even last week because it's rained. Um, but all along this face, this rock face, you can see there's... I mean, it just claws its way up this sheer rock face. At the top, you can see scratch marks. Fresh rock exposed. All the way up, look at these chunks taken out there. And this is coming out of very deep water. Something is clawing its way up the side of the hair. You can see again. Like twin chunks taken out. And a fresh rock. It's clawing its way. 
And this rock that's freshly exposed has been pulled off, like this one over here. Just chunks are being pulled off and scratched off. Look at that little scratch mark right there. So it comes right up out of the water. There's another one right there. Where is that? The sun's in my eyes, I can't really see, but... Oh, there it is. Another sort of triangular mark. So it comes right up out of the water and climbs straight up the, the face of this rock. It sits up on top there. Okay. Continuing along. Gonna go around that corner there. Gonna go pretty quickly along here unless I see something. Don't want to waste battery. Okay, right around the corner. I was gonna continue along, but here we are. It's one of these nests I keep talking about. All the rocks are flattened down. There's easy access. This access is not by accident. This is like a ramp that it creates. And it comes up the ramp and goes up into this nest, this flat area that's created. And there's tons of chewed rocks up there and everything. And all along the outside edge, there's rocks that have been chunks taken off, fresh rock exposed, slice marks in the rock, triangular shapes everywhere, all along here. Fresh rock exposed, look at that. And these little plateaus with easy access and the rocks are just smoothed down. This isn't smoothed down right here, all rocky, and then all of a sudden over here, so smooth. But look, you can see what looks like scat, what looks like some sort of pattern and could be some poop running down. Huh, but anyway, look at that, man, the chunk's taken out from there. scratches on the side of the rocks. This is a plateau. Look, you can see how it's come up. It's created this slide. Smoothed down over who knows how long. It looks like poop right there running down the rock. There's patterns in the rock though that, uh, I don't know, probably not. Anyhow, I'm just kind of floating along here again. You can see Chunks and scratch marks, chunks of rock taken out, these scratch marks. Something's come up, and you can see the shape of its claws come right through that rock. And it's all smooth. It's all been smoothed down by it for who knows how long. Just look at all that rock face. I can just keep zooming in, or you can see these big chunks taken out in the triangular. Look at this one right here, right beside me. And you can see where it started, the two little, in the top, that's where the claws went in. And then it took out this chunk right there. Got wave action going on here. Boat went past. But look, you can see these big triangular shapes. Those are like two feet across. Something massive enough to take those same triangular chunks out. That's, that's like a two by two by two triangle. Two of them, two by two by two, two. Anyhow, but you can see, again, flat area and access to something that has the ability, obviously this does, to climb straight up. Look at that, and you can see way up there, there's a rock again with, uh, you know, I'm, I'm <laughs> like I'm uh, riding the rodeo here, um, chunks of rock taken out way up there. So it's come from the water up and down, chewing these rocks, all of these little rocks have chews on them, chew marks on them, scratch marks on them, even clawed out. Like, look at this rock. Just this whole section under here has been clawed out. Creating a little hollow. 
But this is fairly steep. This is about a 45, and then it goes up to, you know, like really a really steep grade. Again, it's uh, there's smooth down areas all along here. But all these rocks, you can zoom into every single one of them and, and see that they've been, you know, little triangles. They've been chewed on. I mean, every single one of these little rocks. Look at this one right here. This giant one. And then the one below it. And the one next to it. And the one above it. I mean, every single one of these. Look at that slice right through that rock. It's sliced. Taking that side of the rock out. Every single one of these. So they've been chewed from who knows where. You can see the claw marks still in some of them, like the... There, this one right here. Then there's a little triangle. Gonna come up against the shore here for a second. Um, yeah, every single one of these rocks along here, big or small, doesn't matter the size but it eventually chews them down to nothing. This is over hundreds of years, I think. Maybe thousands, maybe, who knows how long. Look, it's like a pathway going right up the side of the hill. And a little nest right there, halfway up next to that big rock. It's an indentation right there. Right in that area there. It's all flat, like a plateau. And on this rock face, too, you can see the triangle marks, distinctive marks it makes when it claws out. Look at that. I mean, that's the shape of a claw right there. How many fingers can you count on that? Claws, tips, one, two, three, four, five, you know? Like everywhere here. I'm going to go over around. You can see all along here, it comes up out of the water. It claws its way up. All this rock under here has been destroyed, or not destroyed, but I mean, clawed off in pieces and chunks with scratch marks left behind. I'll pause this while I go around the corner and get a better angle on it. Yeah, look at that. All scratched off and clawed chunks, chunks of rock. It just comes up and makes its way along here and goes along there. You can see this pathway scratching. Fresh scratches all along here. Chunks of rock taken out. Just making its way along the side like it's going sideways. All these triangular shapes. Try to avoid a collision here. And up on the rocks above all fresh chunks taken out of these rocks. Triangular shapes. Freshly exposed rock everywhere. Everywhere, and all this is rock face. Like this is all around here, it's just... And you can see, whoa, look at that. Right there. And that as well, like that's like almost two in one. You can see where the tip, the tips of the claws went in to the rock. Took that chunk out. And scratch marks all the way up the rock face. Wow, look at that. All the way up this rock face, I'm gonna hit, boom. <laughs> and scratches all the way up this face. It comes up right up here. Right up here. And just claws its way up. Fresh rock exposed there. All the way up. All that fresh rock up there. Scratch marks in the rock. These triangular shapes and claw marks. Chunks of rock taken out. 
like it's made its way up there. And there's like a, a nest. You can see it's all scratched there. Right above, right next to that, right above me is a flat spot. And it's been up there just scratching at the rock, taking out pieces of it, taking out chunks of this rock. You can see up there, a couple of... You can just reach up and grab a chunk of rock right out of the rock face. Everywhere here, just fresh, freshly exposed rock. Look at this one right here. Uh, right there. Look at that. Anyway, this battery is getting close to dying. There's so much stuff here. So much stuff. How trained scientists can't see this is beyond me. Anyhow, I'm going to go around the corner to the cave. As I was backing away, I saw this. I can't really see it in the viewfinder, but... Uh, you can see, there's the one that I showed you with the, with the claws, but then a little ways up there's another one, and then a little ways up there's another one. You can see, there's one right there. A claw mark all the way up, and they go further and further and further. It's just made its way straight up the cliff, straight up from the water. And here is an indent right there. Look, it's indented, smoothed down and fresh rock scraped and scratched. It's making its bed. It's making its little nest, scratching the rock. Making a little way for it to come up from the water, up and down, it slides up and down. And all over here you can see just smooth rock where it's come up and down. Like smoothed chunks taken off of this rock right here. Fresh, big old slab of rock taken off there. That's fresh. A slice in the rock right there. That's a slice. A claw came through there and sliced through the rock. And all this rock is just chipped off in little chunks. And there's a, a flat area up on there that it can go up to. It's broken this rock. It's broken this rock. I mean, look. This triangular claw mark right into it and a couple of marks right there. It's broken this entire rock face in half, split it off, and underneath it too, jagged little claw marks, little triangular marks where it's taken the, uh, taken the rock out as it's come up, and then it's taken more of these triangular shaped chunks. Dang. Sorry. And look, fresh rock scratched. This is the water. It's coming scratching its way up. Look, two marks right there. Scratch, scratch through the rock. Taking more chunks, more chunks as it goes up. Another chunk goes up there and goes over to the little flat spot right up there. And it sits up there and look how smooth down the rock face is behind it. There's smooth and, and scratch marks as well. So it's like, it's just smoothing things down from constant use year after year. And look, you can see there's a pathway going up to the side here with more scratch marks on the rock. Chunks of that rock taken out. A little pathway that goes right up to another plateau up there. And it goes even further all the way up. You can see scratch marks on the rock above that too. But like that other nest over there, you can see the rock face behind it has been scratched and scratched and scratched. It's been just sitting up there and it scratches away and then chews the rock. I don't know why, sharpening its teeth or it's eating it, who knows. Along right, this rock face as well, I might bang into another rock here. Um, but you can see the triangle shapes and an actual see like a claw mark with the individual fingers, whatever. And chips taken out all over here. Triangles everywhere. 
Anywho, onward. Little nest up there. Little hollow again. It's hollowed out. Float along here. Okay, so here's the cave. Oh my goodness, look how close we are to it. This is the closest I've been as far as water level goes and all the times I've been here. Okay, alrighty. And you can see, look up the side. There's a pathway it's made up the side. Okay, I gotta make my way back there. Alright folks, here it is. This is the cave. Of course, I just discovered that other one. But holy smack, look at these. Okay, look. I don't know if you can see these claw marks coming up out of the water. In the sunlight here, but... Okay. Constant use, this has been smoothed down. That cave is much bigger on the inside. There's that patch. It looks like blood to me, but. Shall I find out hopefully at some point. You can see all along these rocks it's used. And look right above that is that chip taken out, and there was a claw mark. I'm going to go over the, the comparison of these. Uh, These various times I've been here. Anyway, I gotta paddle my way back. I'm floating away. But you can see right on the rocks. A triangular shape. It's made its way up up the hill here. Anyway, I'm gonna make my way back to the cave. Okay, I want to show this to you. I mean, these cuts in the rock are just crazy. Like this one down here. I'll try and make my way over. Hold on a sec. Look. I mean, you can see the, the entire, it looks like a hand that's taking that chunk of rock out. One second, let me get closer. I think it's just taking that entire chunk out. This is on the side of the cave, this is around the side. So you can see fresh rock exposed going up the side here. Water coming down from above.
around here. See if I can get the other camera going. Okay, I've taken the camera off the uh, strap around my neck so I can try and get a better view into what's inside. Get this one first. There was a couple of rocks there last time I was here, and now there's just a stick. The opening's been widened as well. Like I said, this is the highest um, the water level has been since I've come in the last year or so. I also wanted to show this to you. Look at this slice on this rock. Where is it? Right there. Just a big slice taken out of that. And you can see right there. Claw marks taking that out. Anyway. Anywho, my battery died, so I'm down to my last one. Who knows how long this is going to last, but. Uh, check out this claw mark, scratch mark on the rock. Crazy. Anyhow, there's some focus issues, I think, with the sun. But uh, all of this rock going up here has been just scraped and scratched chunks taken out of it. You see the shape of, I mean, the shape of a actual claw in the rock. I mean, anyhow, back to the cave. We're floating away from it. When you come back from the cave a bit, you can really see how some of these chunks of rock have been taken out. Get into there, see if I can see anything. See, it goes quite far back, and it's pretty high. It's like 10 feet high in there. It's so smooth, this. It's a slide that probably takes when it first comes out. But then when you look at the rock, you can see just like giant areas, this area here. The rock has been just taken out of that whole area there. And next to it, chunks taken out as well. You can see all through this entire area. But then you go down again further on and you can see a flat area where it can come right up out of the water, come up onto the rocks and just chill. Or go up even further all the way up the hill and to who knows where. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get this, this camera, other camera, little camera going on. Look at all the scratches all over there and the triangular chunks taken out. All coming up out of the water. I mean, you could put an underwater camera in there and you can see all of the the same thing down in the water. Look at all the rock faces just destroyed with chunks taken out of it and scratch marks in it. And a little, oh, look at that. That's a nest right there with a tree right in the middle of it. It's coiled around the tree. Wow, man, that is crazy. And the tree's just grown. That's a it's a nest with a tree in the middle of it. That's crazy. So you can see how it's snake-like. It goes around these trees. It leaves tufts in the middle and the grass and the fields. And uh, it leaves that in the middle. And look at the grass growing out of it. I'm gonna head back there and floating down the way here, but the other chunks taken out of the face of these rocks. This rock face is just all freshly exposed rock. Anyhow, I'm gonna head back to where that nest is. That's so cool. Oh, yeah. There it 
this. That is so cool. A tree has grown up. And look at all the scratches along the rock face around it. Scratches and scratches. But I want to show this to you as well. That's what I'm talking about. This ginormous amount of poop. This could be an eagle, but I've seen ten times this much flowing down the rock. But yeah, this whole area right here is uh, like smoothed down again. Easy access up from the water it comes up to its nest. Slices in the rock. And all along here, all along this rock face, and again going up that as well. Look at all the scratches on that. It's just clawed all this, all these triangular shapes down by the water here. Slices into the rock, chunks taken out of the rock. See if you look closely, all these slices, all these scratch marks. Like that is a big slice through that rock. And then triangular chunks. I'm just floating along here in the lake and just we're going past one after the other, one chunk taken out after the other. Triangular shapes as it comes up out of the water goes up to its nest. All the slice marks on the rock there. Chunks taken out, triangular shapes. Who knows how many hundreds of years this has been used. You can see all the slice marks and the big scratches on these rocks. Time after time, they're coming up out of the same spot, going up to the same spot. And look at this. Big old chunk of the rock taken out. Probably because it's used it so much. You can see a big chunk right there taken out. right in the rock there. I'm gonna head back, I'm floating away here. Whoa, look at that one. That's a claw mark right in the rock. Right next to it too. Heading back. Okay, that was fun. I just got some uh, footage, hopefully some good footage, uh, inside or closer to the mouth of the cave. But uh, just looking at the sheer amount of um, slices into the rock. These slices. And look, look. Let's see the actual one, two, three. Has it sliced through that face of that rock? Anyhow, I'll be back to the cave in the future. Maybe bring my dinghy and try and uh, somewhere and get out, get into the cave myself. Anyhow, I'm going to preserve some battery here and uh, continue along, see what I can find. It still says I have full battery, so I'm just going to kind of show you things as we go along. Just uh, slice marks, just triangular marks.
show you the side of the rock face where you can see fresh chunks taken out of the rock and all these scratched marks everywhere. I don't know what the battery level I have is, but we'll see. Again, look at this. area here where it's come up. A couple of scratch marks right there. And little areas all along here. Where it's just wrecked. chunk of rock out freshly removed into this rock face here. There's claw marks all along the sides of the rock face here. exposed rock and right here coming up to this one here look at this claw marks right in that rock wow right there all on that rock this is all gouged out in these flattened areas Smoothed out. Smoothed out. Oh, look, look, look. Slice taken out. Claw prints in that rock. Side there. Rock that's been gouged out and going up there. You can see chunks taken out of that. So I might lose you again, as usual. But look, nest up there. Rocks pushed aside, flattened area. Oh, that one right there. Look at that. A little divot for it to just sit in. Comes right up out of the water. Just sits in that little hole.
has this to preserve battery. You can see here a couple different areas where there's little spots where there's indentations. And look at the slice in that. Just like the other one. Big slice right through the rock. And chunks taken out, fresh chunks of this rock being pulled down. And then chewed on. You can see all these rocks that have been chewed on and then coming out of the water right here. And all the way up the rocks, you can see all the cut marks in the rocks right over there. These scratch marks scratch right through as it comes up and right up there onto another nest. Big nest. A big wide open area with the rocks just Push to the side. And you can just come right up, right up out of the water here. Right up out of the water, around the corner. Look, you can see a cut mark in that rock. Where is that? I want to show that right there. Look at that. Cut, cut right into the rock. And I want to try and get another a better angle on this nest here. There you have it. It's a nice flat area with the rocks just pushed to the side. A nice path coming up. Cut marks and other, like look at all these rocks. Just little pieces of rock just sitting here. They've just been chewed on. And this whole area here is like all cut marks in the rocks and everything. Smooth down, look at that. There's a nest right there. Just with the rocks pushed to the side and everything flattened down, just nice. A nice smooth area to go down into the water and then come back up out of the water and sit in this nest, this little semicircular hollow with a flat face behind it. You can see scratch marks in the rock there. I mean, if you look at it, there's just, there's everywhere. There's rocks just destroyed with all of that. Big slice, a chunk taken out of B, taken out of that giant rock. And marks triangular. Marks as it's come up out of the water and pulled chunks of rock. Scratches all the way up out of the water. You can see. It just comes right up and up onto its nest. 